these Casio. <laughs> I did like the uh, number eight one, the alien, a very alien sound, but it, I think it was coded the C algorithm. Yeah, thing. the C algorithm. The <laughs> yeah. C language algorithm. Yeah, yeah. C language. Just in case you confused it with the C. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. C language this is better. This kind of stuff we should actually put in as well. <laughs> yeah. For Thirty seconds. Hello, welcome back to Assembly TV this afternoon. Welcome back to my fake living room of chat. Um, I'm here with Ziphoid, um, erstwhile traveling horseman and messiah of SceneSat radio, and Oki, who invented partying in 1983. And um, uh, they're going to talk to me about the fast music compo, which we just enjoyed next door. Um, that was good fun. How did you find it? Well, I, I, I did like it in, in the sense of, I mean, the rules are quite hefty in that sense. You have one and a half hours, mm. you get a, a chord prog progression to stick to, and it, it's not easy, no? I can imagine. No. So, so it was some interesting entries. Especially when there's a lot of noise going on <laughs> and that kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like stand out for you. It's, 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 it's very difficult. I mean, I'm a musician, but I couldn't do it because I have no idea how chords work. I can read the rules and I have no idea what to do. So I'm very impressed that people actually figure it out. Yeah. There yeah. are actually skilled musicians at this party, so that's very good. Yeah, well, let's talk about the good stuff first. Um, so what, what leapt out of the speakers for you? <laughs> well, what I, I, I like the, the, the Castlemania song where the guy uses the, 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 the choir synth, which is, I was very impressed by the synth. Uh, but oh yeah, yeah, mostly. Symphonic choirs. Yeah, the symphonic uh, choirs yeah. that you had, like you do the progression with that. I found it very interesting. Very yeah, interesting. Well, right. Were they saying Pokemon? So <laughs> I could have sworn they were saying Pokemon. <laughs> I, I, I don't Pokemon. know because I couldn't, I couldn't hear it, but John told me that you can put anything in there. Yeah, you I can make him sing whatever you want. <laughs> so imagine that, a whole room of Gregorians singing whatever yeah. you want. Well, I was singing Pokemon anyway. Uh, that was Renoise. In fact, that was the only Renoise um, yes. entry. And uh, quite a spread of platforms. Um, mm. Of, of sequences, synths, doors, whatever you want to call them. Um, quite a lot of FL Studio Fruity Indeed. Loops. Yeah, but, um, and some people actually call it Fruity Loops still because... One person called yeah. it Fruity Loops yeah. and they weren't ashamed. <laughs> no, I still but they also have the fruitiest fruity. tune as well. Yeah. So, um, uh, but then again, I mean, some people probably have seen the Bass Hunter tutorials on YouTube as well. Right. And like, hey, you can do big things with FL Studio and Fruity Loops. But, mm. well, yeah. some, some managed quite okay, I must say. But yeah, yeah. I've never worked with Fruity Loops because I'm an idiot. But can you? Is, is, does it actually have a bass drum, bass line generator that you could like click and it goes? Boom -choo, it's boom -choo. got tons of stuff now. Yeah. I mean, it's um, because all the beats were the same basically from these entries. Yeah. Much. yeah. Well, I haven't used it since 2001, but um, you know, it's got it's very fully featured. You know, mm. from what I hear. All right. Um, they have a lot of effects built yeah. in, and, and it, it makes quite good uh, in the end mm. end result as well. But well, the interesting thing I was thinking, you know, it's not about the tool, but um, it's about what you do with it. The second to last, which was a, um, a Fruity Loops one, that was the yeah. Penguins in Atlantis. Um, it, it was very tracker. The, the chords are, are the way you would typically do chords in an XM and fast tracker. You kind of, you know, get four notes, put them in the columns, and then copy and paste. And, yeah. and it sounded nice, but it sounded like it could have been done in a tracker, um, but somebody had done it. In yeah, but that was most of these tracks sounded like they could have been done in a tracker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There wasn't anything really spectacularly different uh, even like the ones that I didn't know what kind of tool they used it sounded like okay well the weirdest like ones then there was the um, maybe the Rose Garden uh, the Linux open source um, yeah. sequencer and LMMS um, I don't know what LMMS is but I think it's probably a generative synth uh, what did you think of that yeah I mean it sounded a bit uh, well for, for starters the piano in that one sounded like a $10 Casio thing mm. or something but <laughs> it's really it hip, by the way, now to use that kind of stuff. So yeah, well, but um, but overall, um, there were a lot of disha uh, disharmony in that one as well. So it must either have been generated in some way or made by someone that kind of doesn't understand music as well. <laughs> there were more entries that sounded like that. People yeah. try really hard to understand yeah. how notes kind of work, but don't really know what sounds good. And it sounds really mean. I don't mean it like that, but actually I do. <laughs> Well, I mean, we'd have to know more about how it was made, but mm -hmm. um, I suspect that 
if you put um, if you put creative control in the hands of an artificial intelligence, then it might turn on you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I actually thought that if the dissonance had been worked on a bit more, and if, if the, the beats had been chopped up more interestingly, it could have made a really nice abstracted piece of almost free improv music, but it was only halfway there. Yeah. And so I think that's maybe why it didn't cheer any of us up. Much. But th but that other one the the C language algorithm mm. the uh, it, it sounded a bit aliased in the but I guess it was using very stripped waveforms yeah but other than that it was very harmonical all the way through and, and mm, quite yeah. cute one that was nice that was a really nice one yeah and yeah. it was pretty quick pretty short <laughs> <laughs> which is good for a fast music compo it's indeed. fast music anyway I mean yeah that's how it works it was one really long one um, yeah there was the was it a Game Boy song uh, a little time for is Iskelma, Ikelma, mm. Iskelma, sorry, <laughs> that kind of like had looping patterns in the end for like a minute and then went beep on the end. It was yeah. actually it was a pretty cute little Game Boy ditty, but it just went on way too It long. went on quite a while. It's nicely presented and stuff. I mean, mm. I suspect because the info text on the screen said Game Boy Skills with a Z, um, I suspect it's the same guy as did one yesterday for the yeah. executable music. Ah, um, okay. And that was a bit better, but obviously this is a short time scale. Yeah, it's a short so time span. Cool. And in a way, he, he kind of nailed the feeling that parents get when people uh, ga kids are playing their Game Boy and just feeling the repetitiveness because it yeah. was long in the end as well and just <laughs> some arpeggios and it's stuff. Like so. A look inside of the mind of a parent by the song playing over and over in your head. I think so have we reached that level? Agree with you. Yeah. Have we become the scene parents where we Indeed. get annoyed by what these kids <laughs> are doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's it's actually really isn't it? sad. <laughs> Yeah, these damn kids and their new hippity hoppity music. They make bleep and bloop, <laughs> and I have no idea. Yeah. But there was uh, the second song, I think. Uh, no, it was the third song, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the, the third song was actually yeah, built upon. Um, yeah, the, it was built upon a sample from Slate Radio, actually, where, where they had a show named Mastering Swedish. I'm Swedish, and um, this was when uh, Boss, one of their DJs, was moving from England to Sweden. So the other DJs decided, well, let's. Let's make a, an English course, a Swedish course for him. So they actually had stolen the deep frozen chicken line from oh Mackey's right. there in in that number three entry. And th number three, yeah. And it was very short and was based on that and the harmonies. So, <laughs> so a good fun. Is it frozen chicken lips? Uh, no, lives really. Oh, lives. Yeah. Right. I, I was trying to. I was thinking I could I could use some frozen chicken lips right about now. <laughs> maybe maybe fried. Or, you know. The frozen on a stick like ice cream. They're very good. Yeah. They sell them here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure they, I'm sure they do, but this. maybe not intentionally. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the second one, all I have written down for the second one is Be. Mm -hmm. A. <laughs> Ace. Um, because that was a real floor shaker. Mm -hmm. um, I mean that's part of the problem, I guess, of mastering at assemble, you know, mixing at assembly and then putting it on a big sound system. Yeah, big sound system. Like, oh, it needs more bass on my crappy headphones. And, and I think also because I have the common wrote down, it was what? Because I think he did, he had a melody, it was like that with a Glockenspiel, a Ding Dong melody, and then he did another one that was like completely out of tune. Yeah. Like he yes. might not have heard it because he was in headphones in the hall, but yeah. mm -hmm. it sounded like really weird. Like, don't you hear that? But maybe yeah. people don't. Maybe that's the interesting thing about me. I think you're just too conservative in your tastes. I am. I hate <laughs> everything except Lady Gaga. That's basically what it comes yeah. down to. So that's yeah. Lady Gaga and Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a box ring. Awesome. Mm, of course. A uh, few kind of um, chippy bits and pieces here and there as well. Mm -hmm. um, what I noticed that is that kind of chippy and, and demo scene influences were really coming in very tiny amounts, but just injected into tunes which were yeah. more sort of fully sequenced and, and um, kind of conventional. So uh, there was one that had um, uh, It's a Fish, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Quite yeah. nice. Yeah. It had a few just kind of injections of I guess up pads, you know, stuck in there, which worked quite well. Yeah, very scenish, yeah. like little cute song. Yeah. Like tracker yeah. model you would make if you start working with trackers and you make a nice little song. Yeah. It always gets me nostalgic as well. I had the same <laughs> thing with, um, I think that was the Slippery No? It's number seven, I think. A quickly, a quickly Don't Piece of Crap. <laughs> I think that was it. Yeah, that was really but long. And it yeah. also sounded like something that I made back when I started tracking. It was like really fun fiddling was it out. you? No, it wasn't me, I actually <laughs> didn't make it. Because there's no names on these tunes, so you know. No, 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 it wasn't me, it wasn't me. I wish it was me, because <laughs> then I would, be, I would be productive, and I'm mm, absolutely yeah. not. No, but again, you, when you were working with trackers, and you figure out music, and you, you play around with progression, and with notes, and you make leads, and it's like, 
breaks and your beats and it's really really fun and yeah, this, this yeah. really reminded me of that so i really like that they mostly did sound like people were having fun doing them yeah, yeah. there's nothing that sounded like somebody had really you know I have to do this fast I, I, even I this. don't want to like nobody I was do, taking out any yeah. angst on us i really. do have to look into some of these uh tools they used mm, there was yeah. one named pmp php something php um, yeah, yeah. yeah. did, did, uh, we had the same discussion last year if it is a tracker in php or not and somebody looked it up and yeah. i forgot what it was yeah well I, but it was I php got something 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 three yeah. yeah so it's a third one of them whatever yeah, it is so so i gotta have a look at that not only are we out of touch <laughs> but we're grossly out of touch Wait, but we already <laughs> established that we're like old scene parents yeah. and we're way out of touch <laughs> these new fangled PHPs and <laughs> web 2.0s and internets and stuff yeah <laughs> one so. big thing uh, today uh, music wise in the scene is dubstep and and a similar yeah. one and there was actually one track mm. nudging to it number nine I think I, I can't remember the name of it but the the only thing it lacked was a bit of uh, it should have needed more glitch and uh, yeah and it was Shiba swing. 01 yeah yeah a bit more grime yeah didn't sure. really have any swing to it, it was a nice yeah. respace but it, it didn't really have any swing on it yeah, having said that it did kind of it had this sort of sparse beat construction that yeah but that that's the thing the with dubstep style. as well like dubstep it's a very it's it's a formula mm -hmm. music so you really have to make it stand out you have to spice it mm -hmm. yeah it's really easy yeah. to make like a dubstep like setup but mm. uh making it work it's like yeah. really it's a lot See, harder you know with an hour and a half i think you know that that would be a good foundation for somebody to take away and, and work on you know so yeah I guess they will. You know, you could take that away. You could spend a few more hours on it, and, yeah, and you yeah. could really bring it out. Mm -hmm. um, there was also the working under pressure kind, of like gives you mm -hmm. the, the you have to perform now and try to make it good, without falling into the pitfall of like I make like a few generic patterns, and yeah. fit around with them a bit, because it will be too easy. Mm. Well, um, towards it, well at the end, we had um, some heroic individuals brought a virus B to <laughs> assembly, <laughs> which is um, a thoroughly sensible thing to do. Yeah, um, <laughs> and they are built like the proverbial, um, you know. Well, mine's broken actually, but <laughs> <laughs> they, they're normally built pretty well, and they it's normally like last pretty well yeah. in somebody's rucksack and stuff. So, um, acid and virus B, and um, to to beat that into shape and and to to actually fit a virus in the mix is usually quite a challenge. You know, yeah. you have to really constrain it. So um, somebody's done that in an hour and a half, and that. that was the highlight for me. Yeah, yeah what very, very prodigy sounding, making it like the early 90s ravey vibe. Yeah. Of it, yeah. Yeah, it put a lot of prodigy lines in my head that I was yeah, singing like as I came the in the here. Yeah, the beat as well was this kind of deconstructed breakbeat, and then yeah. this little vocal sample that went like, did the party on? Yeah. Like you always <laughs> had in these kind of songs. What do you think of that, Ziffo? Well, y you could definitely hear that this guy, whoever it is, definitely makes music a lot yeah because yeah. otherwise you wouldn't be able to make that in one and a half hour yeah there's a familiarity so with yeah. tools yeah. and everything exactly. goes and, down there. and as you say the the virus it gives a very full sound mm. in every sound it makes yes. and making more uh, many sounds from the same machine work is, is quite a feat so you, know, yeah. you need to know your tools so <laughs> and if you bring one to assembly then you do know it already yeah yeah and so it's about restraint as much as it is about you know slamming yeah. more things on it i mean yeah. actually not Nothing here really kind of had too much. Nothing really layered too many things, yeah. as far as I can remember. Everything was pretty, pretty not lightweight, but kind of evenly spread. There, was, there were no kind of really heavy bits, except for that bass yeah. and the second <laughs> tune. Um, Indeed. And most trackers and, and platform and things were represented. Mad Tracker, um, Reason, Renoise, lots of FL, Cubase. C language. C language, C. of course, not to PHP. be confused with the C. <laughs> 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 um, it's good that they Fair pointed enough. that out. <laughs> and I like there was a, a song called Lol Coder, which was yeah. absolutely made by a coder. Yeah. Because it's a lol coder, like yeah. It was yeah. also yeah. like it was it was like somebody making music, understanding how music works, but <laughs> like <laughs> fiddling around with it, but being super good at it. No, exactly. He he played uh, a melody line with the snare drum, which <laughs> is kind of it's an old tracker style actually. It is a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, which one there was one that I thought was Reminded me a lot of reading a disc mag, you know. It, it kind yeah. of was that the second last one. Yeah, uh, that was the, the, the second last one. Yeah, yeah the kind of fruity, had, had kind of like kind the, of the lead going out and the little chords playing in the back, yeah. and like for very n friendly reading. But then the bass room was like, this yeah. why the fruity loops kind of like bass drum generator, I guess. Mm. Comes in well, like they have. Pound. I mean, they have a uh, pattern grid where you can just sit and click with your mouse, and that makes it very easy to do special kind of beats. And, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, and tunes. So yeah, I guess that's what we used to do in Pro Tracker, you know, so mm. a, a note skip and just go. Yeah. That's how so much Gabber got made <laughs> between. <laughs> it, was the, it was the best music to start with. And I started with making hardcore and Gabber as well. But well you were Dutch, so, yeah. you know, 
You have that to. as well, you have to. <laughs> they teach it in schools, presumably, <laughs> in Holland. They did, actually, yeah. <laughs> it was a very good course. <laughs> Led by DJ class. Paul actually came in and explained right. us mm-hmm. how it works. And then we did drugs together. It was very yeah, good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so um, there, was, uh, there was some vocoder stuff in one of them as well. It was a Milky Tracker tune, I think number three, that um, had some vocoder thrown in. Said it some. Um, mm, I kind of missed that. I think. Yeah. Maybe it was just yeah, in my imagination. I think that's just in your head. Before. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it has been a, a long day. It has already been. Yeah. Um, I can't remember that either. But I might have missed it. Mm. There were some songs that kind of had my mind trail off a bit as well. Where they were going yeah, on yeah. And going, like I'm thinking of something else. I think there are enough reference points for um, for kind of seeing people and, and assembly people and demo scene people. You know, uh, the yeah that that disc maggy one, the, the one that I thought sounded yeah. a bit like a disc mag. It had all those kind of not quite but almost STO one samples mm. in. Yeah. You know, like I've got a piano sound, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> and um and I'm gonna try and get some fast Belgian jazz out of this machine if it kills me. And, um, and honestly I think I think that one actually was one of the f- things that felt most demo scene ish yeah, out, out of this. It did, yeah. Uh, because it well, being an old school, old fart scener, uh yeah, the, the disc mags from the late eighties, early nineties kind of brought that back as well, so Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them were just as long as they needed to be. Yes, yes. Well, I like that as well. Like you, you make a, you make a short song in a short t- amount of time. Like don't make it too long. Don't start copying patterns just because you want to fill the six minutes. Yeah, it's yeah, like sure. yeah. it's, it's nice. But it was, e- it was quite easy and pleasant to sit through. Yeah. yeah. I expected. I didn't know what to expect. To be honest, I expected some kind of horrible <laughs> cacophony. You know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 that was nice. That it's, uh, it was a pretty good for a fast music compo, like solid entries. But, uh, Did you feel like you wish you'd entered? Uh, well, uh, yeah, 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 well, I, I would have loved to enter something, but, uh, well, being broadcasting radio and stuff kind of takes away a lot yeah. of time. And you guys know that, sitting in here in the studio a lot as well. So. Well, next <laughs> year I'm going to enter and I'm going to record some of your scene sets so and I'm uh. going to use Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Auto-tune is it. a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> because I was going to say, like, I didn't have time to make something because I don't have a tracker on my iPad. Yeah. Mm. So that's really difficult. <laughs> but yeah, auto-tune is probably the best way to go. Yeah. Uh, it could be used a lot. I mean, people auto-tune yeah. news entries today on YouTube and stuff. And I mean, that's uh, that's cool. News broadcasts in an auto-tune way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I think the audience have been... Uh, Deprived of my <laughs> engaging conversation for the last few minutes, maybe. Okay. Um, people couldn't hear you, so they, just, they hear this answer like on non-existing questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you raise a point, but I shouldn't <laughs> say it again. <laughs> you might get into trouble. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Unfinished television. No, and y- to be honest, I, you know, I'm very fond of you, but not in that way. Uh, uh, fair mm. enough. I understand. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think um, that was more fun than I expected it to be. Um, which isn't much of a compliment. <laughs> Final words. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do like the fact that people are creative in a very short time. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, they picked some. Uh, I was happy when, when I heard that. Okay, you have one and a half hour. You have these chords you need to go through. Mm. I was happy to actually get variation, yeah. because otherwise it can be just the same all over fifteen times. Yeah, it's better than if it was just a sample pack. Yeah. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. You know the exact same samples in the same yeah. order. Yeah. Yeah, and I led on to the idea of that it's, it's very good at, at assembly, which is also like a very big gamer uh, group of people here, that they like try to make if, if get people to make music, like yeah. have a fast music compo, participate, make something, create and enjoy, but participate, enjoy, win a prize, be famous, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's very nice that they try to promote it. Mm. So, so that's and it does step outside any elitism that might sort of gather around bigger compos that are just traditionally demo scene orientated yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. You can easily branch in as well if you come here, like, you're not really demo seen it, but you can make a song, like, you mm-hmm. can enter it, and then gradually grow. And I do like the fact that the entrance name is not shown, because mm, then yeah. it gives a very, uh, well, you you don't vote that, oh, that's him, or, yeah. so it's, it's a better way to do that. Yeah, name voting can be a yeah. real problem. Um, I mean, some people have a style that just... Yeah, you can, yeah. Know, I mean, sometimes you <laughs> hear, like, it. okay, this might be this dude, mm-hmm. because he always does this kind of stuff, but... yeah. It's good to keep it open, basically. Uh, 
Yeah. I guess how dangerous it will be if you showed with name. I have no idea so no. how big it is actually. <laughs> but you should try this with a demo compo. Just yeah. try to blur out the logos in in the demos or something. <laughs> it could be interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why didn't you suggest that? I'll, I'll, I'll try that for <laughs> next year. <laughs> See how it goes. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, um, thank you for joining me. No thank problem. Comfy seats and um, talking to me about the fast music combo at Breakpoint. Uh, so thank you, Ziphoid of Scene Sight Radio, to which you must listen if you're sitting at home and wondering what to do for the next few hours. You've got to go and listen to the feed. You'll be interviewing people, I guess, the rest of the day. I'm going to try to do that. Yeah. Yep. Playing music, that sort of thing. Uh, taking requests if you get an IRC. And, exactly, um, and on the website. As well. And if they're any good, I mean, you know, I guess you're not going to play really crappy ones. No, true. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you also to Aki, um, who brought his best shirt along today. And it's it's my favorite shirt, actually. Uh, yeah. It always makes me happy when, yeah. I, when I wear it. It's like, it's good. Awesome. And I've been Cyphus. And um, that's it from us. Thank you. <laughs>